Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Razr 40 Ultra and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now this will also allow you to get rid of a screen lock if you have one set that you don't know. And I'll also be completely transparent here. Doing so will typically, if you're planning to remove the screen lock because you don't remember it, will typically result in your device becoming FRP locked. And just to explain this, so for the people that don't know, FRP lock is basically equivalent of an iCloud uh, kind of lock. So if you have a Google account signed in and you have a screen lock and you reset the device without well, not through the settings, uh, the device becomes locked and you need to then verify uh, one of the, these two things throughout the setup, either the Google account or the screen lock. And assuming, for instance, you don't know both of them, uh, then the device becomes a brick. Now, typically, I would have a method on bypassing such a thing, but because this device is relatively new uh, and it's running one of the newest security patches at the moment, I haven't found any kind of bypass for it that works chances are in the future there will be one uh, but if there will be one i'll probably be recording it with a different motorola so for the people that will be interested in this just look for some newer device that came after this one uh, if you're interested in the bypass and if there is one from me obviously it will most likely work with this uh, phone as well but like i said at the moment i just haven't found one there most likely is one or will be found but at the moment i have no uh, knowledge of such a bypass now anyway let's uh jump into the reset after this kind of, of a shameless plug so no matter if you have a screen lock or not uh, you can hold your power button i guess it's power button volume up there we go to bring our uh, boot options and you want to select power off when the device turns off hold your power button and volume up again Gonna let go of the power button once the Motorola logo shows up. And it looks like it was actually volume down. Yep, so it's volume down, not up. My bad. So let's do this quickly. So again, power button, volume down. This will take us to the boot options right here, or fast boot mode or boot loader, depending on how you want to call it. It's technically called here fast boot mode, but it's considered as a boot loader. Anyway, using volume keys, we're going to select recovery mode. I'm going to confirm it with a power button, which I didn't mention. Next, you will see the Android with no command. So hold your power button, press volume up. Oh, come on, press volume up once. I need to redo this because, uh, let's be honest, not the best programming here. So what happened is when I was letting go of the power button, it accepted the first option, which is accessible in the recovery mode. Let's try to do this again without, there we go, without actually rebooting the device again. So like I mentioned, what happened is uh, when I was letting go of the power button, I accepted it as a confirmation of the first option which is selected by default, which is basically rebooting the device. Anyway, in here, I'm going to use the volume buttons, scroll down to wipe data factory reset and confirm it with the power button, select factory data reset again and give it a moment. It's going to start formatting data and then give us entry data wipe complete. So we're going to give it a moment. Oh, there we go. Now, once it's uh, finished with the data wipe complete, uh, reboot system now will be selected by default and we're gonna confirm it, this time around intentionally. This will reboot the device and continue factory resetting it in the background. So because of it, it will take the device a little bit longer to boot back up. That's completely normal. Just give it a minute or two to finish up whatever it's doing in the background. And once it's completed, we should have our setup screen visible. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, there it is. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.